adding like and unlike fractions. Fractions with the same denominator are called like fractions. One eighth and two eighths are like fractions. Adding like fractions is simple. We just add the top numbers, the numerators. The denominators stay the same. One eighth plus two eighths equals three eighths. Adding unlike fractions, such as one quarter plus one half, is a little trickier. To add these fractions, we first turn them into like fractions, and then we add the numerators. Let's make these two fractions like. At the moment, this is in quarters, and this is in halves. If we multiply this denominator by two, we get four. Now we have the same denominator as our first fraction. Now a very important rule. Whatever we do to the bottom number, we must do to the top number. This means we must multiply the top number by two. One times two equals two. We have found an equivalent fraction of one half, two quarters. One half and two quarters are the same. Now we have two like fractions, one quarter and two quarters, we can add them. One quarter plus two quarters equals three quarters. Let's have another go of adding unlike fractions. Two thirds plus five twelfths. These two fractions are unlike, so we can't simply add the top numbers we have to change them to like fractions first. First we think, what do we multiply three by to get to 12? Four, three times four equals 12. Now we must remember the important rule. Whatever we do to the bottom number, we must do to the top number. Two times four equals eight. We have turned two thirds into the equivalent fraction eight twelfths. Now our two fractions are like eight twelfths plus five twelfths equals thirteen twelfths. So far we've gone through two examples, one quarter plus one half and two thirds plus five twelfths. These were both examples of adding related fractions. Related fractions have different denominators that are multiples of each other. One quarter and one half are related because two goes evenly into four. Two thirds and five twelfths are related fractions because three goes evenly into 12. Let's now have a go at adding two unrelated fractions, three quarters plus two fifths. As well as being unlike, they are unrelated because their denominators are not multiples of each other. Four doesn't fit evenly into five. In other words, we can't multiply four by any number that will get us to five. Instead, we have to find the lowest common multiple of both denominators. In this case, that is four and five. Here are the first few multiples of four. And here are the first few multiples of five. I don't need to list any more because I found the lowest common multiple, 20. How does this help us? Well, we weren't able to convert fourths into fifths but we can convert fourths into twentieths, and then convert fifths into twentieths. In this way, we can turn these unlike fractions into like fractions. Now that we know the lowest common multiple is 20, let's get started. What do we multiply four by to get to 20? Five. 
Now, whatever we do to the bottom number, we must do to the top. 3 times 5 equals 15. 3 quarters is equal to 15 twentieths. Now for our next fraction. What do we multiply 5 by to get to 20? 4. Now we do the same to the top number. 2 times 4 equals 8. 15 twentieths plus 8 twentieths equals 23 twentieths. Here are two to have a go at on your own. 3 halves plus 1 sixth and 1 third plus 2 fifths. Pause here while you work. Let's see how you went. The first one. These two are related fractions. We can multiply 2 by 3 to convert this fraction to sixths. Multiplying the top number by 3, we get 9. 9 sixths. 9 sixths plus 1 sixth equals 10 sixths. The second one. These are unrelated fractions because 3 doesn't multiply evenly into 5. We need to find the lowest common multiple of 3 and 5. Here are the first few multiples of 3. And here are the first few multiples of 5. The lowest common multiple is 15. 3 times 5 equals 15. Now the top number. 1 times 5 is 5. 5 fifteenths. Now we have to convert our next fraction into fifteenths. We do that by multiplying the 5 by 3. 5 by 3 equals 15. And then we do the same to the numerator. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 fifteenths. 5 fifteenths plus 6 fifteenths equals 11 fifteenths. easyteaching.net